just a great movie. And essential. <laughs> What a great supporting cast this movie has with Herbert Marshall and George Sanders, Robert Benchley, Edmund Gwynn, Albert Basserman. I mean, they go on forever. Lorraine Day, lovely yeah, leading lady. I loved her in yeah. this movie. I thought she had such a great look. Mm -hmm. So it's a movie I think that's uh, that's really entertaining to watch. I love all that stuff about the windmills yeah. uh, and all these mysterious people coming and going and all of that. And well, the to... set pieces throughout mm -hmm. the film, whether it's outside the courtroom and the murder happens or the windmills or the airplane, really incredible set pieces. Do you have a favorite Hitchcock film? I know my favorite Hitchcock cameo is in Lifeboat because yes, yes. how is he going to get yeah. himself on that boat? We talked about that last year. It's the best. Yes. Well, I, I, I think, think Rebecca I know. would be my favorite Hitchcock film. It is a great one. It's really a great one. A masterpiece. Right. I love Notorious too. Yeah. That's one of my great favorites, and I also love Rear Window. Of course. I think that's great. So yeah. there's a lot. There are very few I don't that I'm not crazy about, but there are some that I'm not terribly crazy about. I love I rope for the tech, you know, the technical aspect that he would use those 10 minute mags and always end on someone's yeah, back. Yeah, I, I find that point. very interesting, although it gets in the way to me of the movie sometimes. I like when it. I really want a close up sometimes of or a reaction shot of somebody, but because the camera's over there right. and it can't wheel over there in time. So I kind of miss that in that movie. But he used that technique again in Under Capricorn years later for a certain section of it with Ingrid Bergman and Joseph Cotton. I haven't seen didn't that Didn't work one. at all. That's bold. I love it. Saying what Hitchcock did didn't work at all. I like it. Well, we have to admit that. I confess with Montgomery Clift and Ann Baxter, I don't think worked at all. He had two great actors, no chemistry between them whatsoever. And for me, it didn't work. But right. again, you know, that's what's great about movies is that uh, some people love that movie and yeah. love all movies. And it, movies are made for everybody, not just for me or you, but for everybody. Well, I think also the filmmakers that make predominantly these world-changing, cinema-changing movies mm -hmm. are the greats, and Alfred Hitchcock is that. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see what we have coming up. Okay. Here's a look at what we have next week on The Essentials. Marty, 1955. This is such a beautifully polished movie. Amazing to think this is Delbert Mann's directorial debut in films. I think that Betsy Blair's performance is such a perfect compliment to Ernest Borgnine. Marty is really one of the great movie gems of the 1950s. From 1955, Marty. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on TCM Summer Under the Stars, Herbert Marshall goes from juror to judge by reopening a case of murder. Then Bart's wife is blackmailed by the letter. And Marshall returns in reverse order for the 1929 version of The Letter. Turner Classic.